The semester is in full swing at Fort Hays State University. Faculty are in their offices, students are in their dorms, and assignments are in Blackboard. For international students, though, adjusting is not so easy. First-time students spent an extra week before class in orientation, learning the ins and outs of American life. If you have questions, just ask. Don't Regardless of FHSU's robust global community, International Student Services Assistant Director Angie Roth believes orientation is as important as ever. A lot, if not all of these students, have never been to our campus before. Um, especially the last several years because of COVID. So if you're a graduate student, make sure you have Section C. Nearly 80 international students are experiencing haze for the first time. China, Senegal, and Ghana have prominent communities as always, but this semester, Junior Lucas Gonzalez is representing Colombia alone. The only thing that matters in Latin America is corruption. All those countries are full of corruption, so, I mean, the future is see right there, so I decided to come here. And... Gonzalez arrived in Kansas from Medellin two years ago. Originally a tennis player at Seward Community College, his passion for cybersecurity caught the attention of the Fort Hayes Honors College. This semester, he's the sole international student in the program. For me, paying for college is a pain. I mean, I don't have the money. I work as much as I can. Right now, I, cont I keep working with them remotely, but since I am an international student and a full-time student, I just can work 20 hours. The first day of school. Despite a complicated workflow, he's adapting to life on campus. After all, he needs to. Just few people speak Spanish here. In Suwar, many of them. But here, hmm, I just have found like three or four people. And you've all spent a lot of time and a lot of money to make it this far in life. Roth, for her part, is making the most of her monolingualism. I mean, I like to look at it as it's actually probably helped the student more because it forces them to um, to find ways to communicate. <laughs> like many international students, Gonzalez aspires to help his family reach America once he graduates. Despite the long road ahead, like anyone else, he's making the most of FHSU. There's fear, there's an element of fear in it, and then seeing them succeed and get involved and, and just be treated as a regular student um, has just been it's been a lot of fun and, uh, you know, and learning from their experiences too. Reporting for Tiger Media Network, this is Eleanor Couchman.